Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the village of Whiphampton. Now, it's going to be a relatively brief um, episode this week, uh, and I'll tell you the story of why. Uh, well, it's not much of a story, it's not particularly interesting, but basically, I was in bed sick most of last week, uh, just a cold, but like the cold from hell. Um, you know that type of thing where you just can't even be bothered to get out of bed, uh, let alone actually doing a thing. So yeah, I was off work sick most of the week, uh, and then I had to work all weekend, and then yesterday I spent the entire day working on the rail project, trying to get it finished, and you know what, I just, I, I didn't. I must have been on that for six, maybe seven hours yesterday, and it's still not even close to done. Um, so we're not going to work on that now because I actually want to keep it as a bit of a secret. I want to surprise you. What I'm going to show you is this here. I built up the area of the quarry up a couple of levels and smoothed it all out to grass. You would not believe how many stacks of dirt this took, honestly. Um, and here you can just see the end of the rail there. And I'm not showing you any more of that right now. But that alone was a couple of hours of work. Um... And yeah, I spent a ton of time on it, and before I show you, I really want to get it done. We can go on a nice little magical ride. Um, so what I am going to do is something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. Now, if you remember, I said I was going to put a bell in the church tower. And that's what I'm going to do. And I've decided it can't be a gold bell, unfortunately, because... I need the gold for something else. Oh bugger, I forgot that's really high, isn't it? Uh, okay, down we go again quickly, and I can continue explaining this. Yeah, I kind of need the gold uh, for the rail project. Uh, so I'm going to make an iron bell, and I have already, uh, right here, I've already turned all of the iron, other than six ingots I had left, after making a ton of rails all of the iron left managed to make 56 iron blocks and I don't even know if that's going to be enough I'm just hoping I've got six gold ingots here and I've got like two stacks of gold ingots so that should be enough for the rail project um, but yeah unfortunately we can't have that gold bell I mean that was going to be a bit lavish in a way really wasn't it I mean a gold bell in a church I don't even know if that would sound good to be honest probably wouldn't now I think about it but I do need uh is some more oh, I've got eight that should be enough God, you'd not believe how much wood I've used as well I mean I cleared the path like I said I was going to do for the rails I chopped down the trees uh, and I cleared uh, about 10 stacks no about 10 12 stacks of logs yeah something like that so I've got loads and loads of wood and then I decided actually that I didn't really like the path I was going to move it so I've moved the path and made it a lot better and I eventually ended up with another sort of eight odd stacks of logs out of that so you know that's 20 odd stacks of logs I've ended up with for that and I've used up to be honest I've used up most of it already uh, even, it's crazy how much um, work has gone into such a what well, seems like a, such a simple thing and I have to say, I'm not super used to it uh, myself because, you know, normally I'll do that in, um, I'll do it in creative. It, that would take me, oh, bloody hell. Uh, that would take me, you know, like an hour or two in creative at most. Not, you know, a day or two. Or three, possibly, by the time that's finished. Right, let's, let's build this out here so we've got a little platform to work on and make this bell so there and 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 last corner okay oh well that's all my cobble I think that's enough okay so that's gonna be the bell now how far off the ground actually am i here that's one two blocks and then this is three so this is it's actually going to come down oh i've made it too high oh okay, never mind and uh, let's get rid of that 
distances can be very deceptive in this game. It looked like it was really high. It turned out to be not quite so high. Um, so that's the top of the bell. We're going to obviously make it hollow. Now I've got a pickaxe, so I can. And I've got to love these connected textures. Don't you just love connected textures? Okay, so we can take the middle out of that, and there we go. And uh, let's. Yeah. I'm trying to make it as traditionally bell shaped as possible. Um, so I probably want to come down. But or still Minecraft. The state as proper bell shaped as possible, but still Minecraft. Because you know, like Minecraft, it doesn't have circles. Oh God, I've I've gone and fucked this up completely, haven't I? Um. Oh. I'll tell you, it would have been amusing for you if I was recording yesterday when I was doing some work. When I um, I did pretty much that except a lot lot worse um, and I was out on the road I was at, out at night uh, I got I was getting attacked by about 12 mobs all at once literally skeletons I got blown up by three no four sorry four creepers one after another I kept blowing me around I fell down a hole which actually fell down a ravine and I landed up at the bottom of the ravine almost bloody died I was like an inch off of falling from to my death seriously um, I mean I'm glad you lot couldn't, didn't see that purely because that was the ultimate embarrassment that was such a noob move um, but so you would have laughed your asses off uh, I, I could see the funny side of it now And there, and there, you know what, there, and there, you might be wondering what I'm doing. All will become clear. Because, say, we're trying to make, uh, oh, for sake. There, right, there, can't fall down now. Yeah, yeah, how smart is you? Finally. I can't believe I got outsmarted by stairs twice. Okay, and that there, and that there, and that there. And that still leaves just enough room to get underneath. I'll chop these blocks back out. There we go. Now, I mean, that looks bell shaped. Kind of, um, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure I can do it any better than that, though. I mean, I think that's about the best of the bell we can do with uh, with what we're working with. What I can do, though, is, uh, yeah, that, that, and put a clapper on it. Yay! Okay, that's a bell. Uh, that's definitely a bell. I'm calling it a bell. Uh, what we should do? Oh, I've trapped myself up here now, haven't I? Well done. So the stairs actually outsmarted me again because I just made myself ten times more work than necessary. Okay, now where was the nearest crafting bench? Uh, there's, there's got to be one around here somewhere. This is me we're talking about. There's, there should be about six of them dotted around somewhere. I know there is along the the uh, minecart track. You, oh, there's so many. I just every time I was like, "Where's that craft?" Me? Oh, I left over there. I'll bollocks to it. I'll make another one. I mean, that's I think why maybe why I went through so much um, wood so quickly. I think half of it I spent on bloody cra uh, crafting benches. Right. So oh god, I mean, I've been going. 10 minutes so far. Um, let's see, yeah, uh, I just want to get up here and um, uh, 
let's see if I can put it on here. There you go, look. Right, see? Now. Uh, bell. See? That's a bell. And that's the clapper. So. There we go. Clapper. Bell, clapper. It's a bell. And we can have a little bit of a look at that from the distance on the way back to the house. Because we're going to have to sleep. Gonna have to sleep. Oh, good. Yeah, we've definitely got to sleep. Get rid of this rain as well. Horrible. Look at it. Yeah, that looks alright. That looks like a bell from a distance, kind of. I mean, as much as Minecraft allows. Let's get in here and sleep before the monsters turn up. These guys are in here already. They, they, they know the score. It's dark, it's raining. Oh, lovely. Brilliant. So, yeah, there's, that's the bell. I mean, we've only gone, what, 10 minutes? Just over 10 minutes of the episode? You know, I really should have, like, a timer or something, shouldn't I? I never actually know how long I've been recording for, um, which is probably bad. So let's have a little walk around a couple of other things I've been up to. I've made some progress on my house. It's a little bit of a mess. Um, I'm just trying to decide some stuff that's going on with that. Um... Yeah, that's that, that, this is a work in progress and will be for some time. I haven't actually spent too much time on it, just purely because I've been working on the blooming railway. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you. As much as I'm not sure, you know, when that's done, and, it, you know, it's getting there, but when it's done, that is going to be the most shit-hot-looking railway you have ever seen. Considering it's just a path from the village to the outpost, really, but... It's going to be uber freaking cool. Um, so let's spend just a couple of minutes doing something that I really should do more often. And uh, just harvest up some of these crops. Uh, because it's these are growing nicely. And I, they do grow back very quickly. And I never remember to actually get them. So there we go. That's all of... Uh, there's some more carrots there. Um, I'm just trying to get 50. I've got 55 carrots in the field. That's that's a lot of carrots. There's actually a whole lot of carrots. Um, the carrots. And let's see how much I'm, I'm always going to leave the bottom layer of this. I feel like I really should build something else. I mean, that bell wasn't a whole lot, was it, really? I feel like I should make something else this episode, but to be honest, I have not the foggiest what. I really don't. Um, I've been so, I've been so intent on on the rails and the outpost and my house that I, I haven't really sort of thought ahead what I'm going to do next. Wow, look at all that sugar cane. You'd not believe how much of that I've got now as well. Here goes, boom, boom, baby. Yeah. So yeah, that gets me that gets me about the same amount of cocoa beans every time. So it looks like they drop a a set amount. It seems to be because I always get a stack and forty four. It seems. So I mean that's that's fine. I mean I'm making a massive profit because I've just refilled it and I've still got a stack and eight left, which is just great. Um, so that's that's those. I mean I could. There's lots of things that need doing. Unfortunately, I don't have the resources anymore um, because uh, I've spent them all on stuff. So, yeah, I'll tell you what, what I will do. Oh, balls. Crap. Oh, crap. oh that was lucky. I, just, I always do that. Jump on the sodding field. I've got to be a bit more careful from now on. Yeah, so what I'll do while I'm just doing the rest of these crops for the rest of this episode let's um let's, let's talk about a couple of things that i've done recently which you might have seen already actually uh you might have noticed uh, i have um an avatar now a youtube avatar uh something that i actually did do while i was sick uh because it's i could it takes like no well it took a lot of thought actually but it took no real energy or anything i, I spent quite literally an entire day uh, drawing that picture uh, and I hope you like it uh, I kind of do and kind of don't I mean it's not brilliant 
admittedly, but considering that I did it by hand without a graphics tablet or anything like that uh, in Paint.net, and I'll be honest, I'm not really good at like artwork like that, mainly because I haven't done it before. I mean, give me a pen and a paper, and I can draw away all day, and I can make up a lovely picture. On the computer, eh, not so much. So I did that. I've got a YouTube avatar, and I've got a background for my YouTube now, which is going to change. Uh, that's going to... I wouldn't say change regularly, but it's going to be updated on a semi-regular basis. Every time I start a new series, um, whatever game I'm playing, I'm going to try and add something to do with that. I mean, at the moment, uh, it's just got my Minecraft avatar and some Minecraft pictures of some of my builds. Uh, one of them is, is this village, Whiphampton. Uh, one of them is the Hall of the Gods, because, well, you know, that kind of has to be there, really, for, for this channel. Um, but I'm working on like I put some other pictures. I'm actually drawing by hand, and then I'm going to scan in. Um, but I've got like uh, I'm doing like Gordon me as Gordon Freeman because uh, of my Black Mesa s series, which I'm then also so I'm going to do Half Life Two. I think definitely Half Life Two. Um, so yeah, going to do because uh, my Black Mesa. So that's that's that and then once I do start another new game I'll do myself as that character if it's a role play type game anyway uh, oh and, and technically uh, Black Mesa isn't a role playing game not by any means but because he's a silent protagonist and I can add my own voice as I have been doing it's more of a role play for me than a lot of role playing games right, get out of the way get out of the way Move, damn cows! Um, let's just breed up these cows again. Yeah, it's more of a role play than a lot of role playing games because I'm actually playing the role. I'm playing the most cynical, grumpy, you know, bad-tempered, defeatist Gordon Freeman ever. You know that guy does not want to be doing what he's doing. He doesn't know why he's doing it. Nobody tells him anything. They're just like Gordon, Gordon, go and save the world. It's like why, why me? It's not my freaking fault. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to carry on with that and do Half Life 2. But there are other games that I like like that. I like games with silent protagonists that are um, that really let me get into the role of the character that I want to play. Uh, I've just gone through an entire stack of wheat on them. Okay. I have lots of cows now. Oh, bloody hell! Look at this. This is kind of a bit crazy. That's enough cows. I'll be back to slaughter you soon. Dumb cows. Uh, yeah, so... I'm going to do that. For every game I play, every game that I play majorly, obviously not like my little um, stuff on Steam Spotlights, because I only play that once. When you're only playing it for an hour or so, it's not worth it. I mean, a lot of those games I'm never going to go back to. They're great games. And I will obviously play them myself again at some point, but I'm probably not going to go back to a lot of them on um, videos. So there's no point making um, pictures for them. But things that I am going to do regularly, I'll definitely do like that. Um, otherwise, what's what's been going on? I was trying to, um, been working on trying to get... Um, a playthrough of Rage, actually. If you remember Rage, came out in 2011, uh, John Carmack ID game, uh, using some brand new technology, the mega textures thing, big controversy over it if you if you recall, if you actually know about that. Um, yeah, so I've got that. I bought that round about Christmas. I thought, well, you know, why, why the hell not? Bought that. I've installed it the other day. And... Um, Oh my god, what was John Carmack thinking? Right, I mean, bear in mind, this is well over a year since it was released. It was released end of 2011, it's now 2013, so it's a year and a bit since that was released, right? And the game's kind of a mess. The mega textures thing just really doesn't work very well. Let's put a few of those in there and the wheat. So we'll leave some wheat here for them. Yeah, the whole mega textures thing don't really work well. Uh, I've got. As I've said many times, I've got a good PC. Uh, I've got a 3.4 gigahertz 
Yeah, I think it's 3.4 gigahertz quad core AMD Phenom 2 processor. I've got 8 gig of RAM. And I've got a Radian a Sapphire Radian HD 58501 gigabyte uh, graphics card. Right. I've got a pretty damn good hard drive as well. It's a really, it's one of the, it's the fastest I could find that's not a solid state drive because I just couldn't afford a solid state drive, not a um, 500 gig um, solid state drive. No, that wasn't happening. Okay, so I, yeah, you know, I've got a good PC. There's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. All right, and the game. Actually, it does maintain 60 frames a second like they promised, but the texture streaming is awful. It's just, oh, it's awful. And the game generally okay runs all right. It doesn't look great considering, but it runs all right. You know, the second I hit the record button on that, I'd get like 10 frames a second. I mean, I turned the settings down a bit. Not that there's a whole lot of graphical settings. For an ID game on PC, and there's like... The graphical settings are: Would you like to have your graphics high or low? Essentially, um, I tend to low. Even then, I'm still not getting any better performance out of it. The game is horribly, horribly optimized. But you know, it looked like a cool game, so I was going to play that. But now, obviously, I'm not. Uh, so sorry about that. If anybody actually thought that might be fun, a fun game to see, and it would have been a really fun game to role play. I had a whole character planned out and everything for that. But, my luck wasn't in. Uh, what else is it? I also, I did record a whole playthrough of Mirror's Edge. Uh, four and a bit hours. Because it's not a very long game. Uh, but I had to scrap the recording. So I might bring that on back actually and redo it. I had to scrap the recording because I messed up the sound and you could not hear my voice over the game. So, I might have to re-record that because it was quite fun. And I do like that game and it's well worth doing. Um, so that's a couple of little things that I might be doing, um, if I can sort them out. Deus Ex is certainly on the cards as well, if you remember the original Deus Ex, not the newest one. Uh, something with going on with that, because there's some good mods out for it, so I might do that as well. Um, but you know what, it's night time, uh, it's about time to go to bed, so I'm going to do that. Uh, thank you very much for watching everybody, I'm, very, I'm sorry this wasn't the most fun or exciting episode. Uh, next week's will be amazing, fantastic, brilliant, great, absolutely humongous, ginormous, horrific. Um, because, but yeah, this week I've been really, really ill. So I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry for being ill. But uh, I won't be next week. But as usual, make sure to, to like um, if you like the vid, uh, favourite if you really want. And if you're not already subscribed to me, then you know, go ahead and do that. Because, well, well, why not? You know, just it just means that you won't have to look for my vids anymore. They'll they'll pop up right there. In the meantime, I'm going to continue working on this, continue working on the channel, continue working on everything because I really like doing this. You guys are great, and I really want to bring you the best possible quality content. So that's thanks from me, thanks from the village, thanks from the sheep, the pigs, the cows, the chickens, and everybody else. And I will see you all next week. Goodbye.